My name is Sandor Katz. Um, I'm the author of a book called Wild Fermentation and another book called The Revolution Will Not Be Microwaved. I met, I met Frank uh, in around 2003, I believe, for the first time. Um, uh, the, 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 our first encounter was at, uh, was at a, a gathering in North Carolina that was called the Pollinator Gathering, and uh, Frank arrived just as I was leaving, but all weekend long, people had, uh, had been talking about him and that he and I should meet each other. And uh, while I was um, uh, teaching people about many different modes of fermentation, making sauerkraut, making tempeh, making miso, uh, making meads, uh, Frank was mostly focusing on uh, making meads, specifically herbal elixir meads uh, as a um, as a means of preserving plant medicine, really, from um, uh, his foraging uh, walks. For me, it was a pleasure to, you know, to, to, to teach with someone who I liked so much, who I had so much to learn from, um, and, uh, and really just tag team teaching was wonderful because, you know, we could, we could really put, put ourselves into it 100% and then have a little bit of downtime where we, could, uh, where we could rest and relax and rejuvenate and get ready for, uh, for the next bit of teaching. And it was always um, you know, getting people working with their hands in the kitchen and then getting them outside, um, uh, you know, getting to know the plants that, that, were, that were right around them. And I mean, Frank, was, Frank was so amazing on, uh, on plant walks because you know, he rarely got very far um, because um, you know, he had such a really comprehensive knowledge of, uh, um, of, of plants that you, know, you would just get out in the yard and there'd be you know, hours of things to talk about within, a, within a, 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 you know, an, an easy walk or, or around the house. The, the students in Frank would always bring, bring back uh, you know, bags of um, you know, leaves and roots and berries and fruits and um, things, that, things that they'd harvested and then we would uh, figure out how to incorporate them into uh, fermented vegetables as well as uh, into uh, herbal elixir meads. In our workshops that were uh, more than one day, we would always make tempeh uh, and incorporate that into the meal. Uh, we would often make uh, idli. Uh, I mean, Frank, Frank really had traveled the world much more extensively uh, th than I had, so he had uh, uh, experienced the food like idli in its indigenous context in a way that I hadn't, so he knew, uh, he knew the right kind of uh, dal stew and the right kind of um, uh, chutney to, to prepare with it. So yeah, we, 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 always, had, we, we always had really uh, a really fruitful collaboration and actually the, the last workshop that we taught was you know just about a week before he died and uh, you know he, he wasn't feeling very well I mean it was a two-day workshop and at the end of the first day he told me that if he wasn't feeling better in the morning he didn't think he'd be able to uh, 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 be there for the second day but in the morning he arrived and said he slept great he felt much better and um, you know, he, he threw himself into it. And, uh, and then that weekend, we went to a, 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 a permaculture gathering, the, the Southeast Permaculture Gathering uh, in North Carolina. Um, and he led a plant walk there. Um, but he definitely, he definitely, was, uh, he definitely was, was low energy, but I mean, I had no, I had no sense at all that he was, uh, that he was seriously ill and um, you know on, on the verge of uh, on the verge of death, uh, and I I don't know that he did either. I mean I th I, I I get the impression from um, talking to mutual friends that uh, um, you know he realized he was dealing with something uh, with something serious and that he was making a little bit of an effort to uh, to downplay it. Uh, so as not to uh, 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 worry people, but really, since since Frank's death, I've really had a lot of uh, a, a lot of reflection. Um, you know, really of um, you know trying to take on some of the important work that he was doing and trying to you know sort of incorporate some of the teaching that I ho had always deferred to him because he was doing it so much better than I could imagine doing it myself. You know, and I, I mean, I do have this huge sense of, 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 of loss, not only of a, of a beautiful human being and, and, and friend, but of someone who had a, a really specific gift that he was, uh, you know, sharing with people in, a, in, in an active way. 
but uh, but I, but I have been really trying to you know take on some of that uh, um, sharing with people that, that he was doing. One way I've been doing that is uh, incorporating acorns into my life and into the teaching that I've been doing because that was that was something that Frank was absolutely passionate about. This uh, you know abundant protein rich food source. Um, that was, uh, you know, just so widely available and so widely ignored. Um, so I, I've definitely been um, uh, working more with acorns and incorporating that into uh, the, the work that I do with fermentation. And also just, um, you know, to the more limited extent that I have knowledge about, um, you know, plants um, that, are, that are edible and, uh, and useful and uh, and common, you know, I'm, I'm, I am trying to share that information with people more. You know, Frank influenced many, many people. Uh, it, it, was, it, was, it was funny, I, uh, at his memorial service, I met uh, Seven Song, who was one of his, uh, uh, his first plant teacher, who, who he talks about, who he talked about a lot. And um, uh, Seven Song talked about how gratifying it was for him to have a, a, a student who, you know, sort of really got out into the world sharing this information so much, and that wherever Seven Song went, he would meet people who said, who would say, "Oh, you're Frank Cook's teacher," um, and what a, you know, what 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 what, a, what an honor, gratifying thing that 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 was for him. Um, so yeah, Frank Frank really uh, really put himself out there and. Um, was so uh, was so passionate and so uh, willing to you know share share what he uh, what he knew and what he'd learned.